So you feel like his defense is a little overrated? Defense is sus, bro. You never seen my face beat up in one fight. You ever seen my face swollen? It's time people start looking at the facts. If my defense was that bad, and you could touch me that much, you would see my nose broke. Bro, what? Like, obviously I have good defense. You know? I mean, you've never seen me cut. After a fight, I never wear shades. That's a clear indication. I got good defense. It might not be the defense you like, but you know, you know, there's a reason why. Pink, 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 pink. Pink, pink. Turn off our music. What? What you like? I mean, Beyonce's doing it now, so. Yeah. There's no coincidence about everybody's going to the What's your favorite thing about Dallas? People. Barbecue? Not the people. Southern hospitality? Yep. What's been the best food here?
Ryan, if you win, you gonna bring back the throwback uh, uh, victory dance? Not really. Some things need to be left where they were buried. That is not there enough. Do you feel like you're underestimated, Ron? You got one loss. You're yeah, a 15 time national champion. I am underestimated. You know, they hate me because I don't shut the fuck up and I keep talking. But I'm going to keep doing that no matter what. At the end of the day, you know, they just hate on me. I mean, I was one of the best in the amateurs. Right. Um, I lost one fight to a guy that's arguably one of the best in the world, and he had a weight drain me, and he had a bit of rehydration clause, and all that shit. So, so you I mean, can if you don't think I'm good, that's crazy. You can outbox them then, you feel like. If I want to. Yeah. If I want to, if I don't want to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like I told do you. Do you think that your social media presence had anything to do with the percentage, the first percentage that you're getting that's slightly higher? Uh, you know, I, I feel like I deserve more, if anything. Uh, I should, it should have been 60, 40, 65, 35, you know, to be honest, if I'm being real. But, um, again, um, I like to make the big fights happen. I know what I'm dealing with. A lot of boxers have ego. They don't want to admit that, you know, they're not a draw. So I have to work around that, you know, as, as a person that wants to amplify the sport, you know, money's going to come and go. I have a lot of money. I, you know, I don't really need much more money in my life. And I really respect but the I'll fact take that, that you talk about God. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're, you're I'll take I, I respect the fact that you talk about God like yeah, openly and, and your faith and everything. Yeah. So do you feel that God has put you in this position so that you can affect more people and reach more people? Yeah, there's no other way to put it. You know, God... Um, can't amplify anybody. You know, people look at me like, why would God be talking to that guy? Or why was he talking to Moses? Why was he talking to Paul? Why was he talking to all these people? They were normal dudes. If anything, they were broken people. Paul was a murderer, but he brought them all the way up and now was one of the biggest, you know, disciples, apostles that's ever lived. Love it. So go figure. Uh, I mean, there was a lot of talk on social media this morning about the ticket sales and everything. Yeah. Like the, the prices coming down. And, right. Um, what's your thoughts on that? And then, and then there's talks too that did you talk about stuff outside of boxing? Did it hurt the promotion or is it helping it bring new people in? What's your thoughts on everything? I mean, a lot of things can affect it. But, again, I don't think that anything I said affected the fight. I think that it's more so on him. You know, Devin Haney's not a draw. And um, I definitely have been carrying this promotion on my back by myself. Nobody wants to, you know, watch a guy that, you know, supposedly can't crack an egg. We're not going to underestimate him. He may have power when I step in there. I don't know. So I'm not going to, like, a lot of people go, oh, you ain't got power. But if you don't really have power, why do you go after him? Right. All right, let me ask you this. No, but um, I, think, I think, you know, I was a big advocate for lowering the prices. I think, personally, the prices were very high. And I want everybody to be in the building. You know, I, I don't think that a lot of, you know, Americans can afford $500 tickets, $300 tickets for the top row. I wouldn't even pay that. You know, and I have enough money to do that. But I'm, I'm not going to pay 500 bucks to be at the top row. That's crazy. Right. 